the timeouts. Howell rolling out, wants to throw it back, didn't have the time to. Howell whips it, and it's tipped, and it's juggled, and it's Connor. Jamari Connor, did he put it away? Oh, Bell marker down as well. Another defensive tackle. That rotation. Williams this time. An eligible receiver downfield offense. That's Number a defensive tackle in pass rush on Sam Howell. Did he hold on to the football? Rolling on the field. Is an interception. Jamari Connor juggling. Our rules expert Matt Austin has watched this play. The ball came out. Matt, what do you think? Well, I'd like to get one more view of it. I think he caught it. I think it came out as he was trying to stand up. So that definitely shows a second act. But did he have it long enough before he tried to get up with it? And was he firmly controlling it? That's going to be the question for the replay official. I don't know that he ever firmly controlled it. He's now completed 13 of 18 on the day. Hokies come on the blitz, and they get home. Jamari Connor. All right, Mobley is in the game. They're going to go with a direct snap to the big fella out of Knoxville. Fake the end around. Mobley, the tuck, the run, and down he goes. Jamari Connor chops down Mobley on first down. And he makes it. He's able to fight off the block and come through and make the tackle on a big bat. Really able to get him down. First and 10, working fast. The carry is Williams. Minute four for Kenny Pickett and Pitt. Time to hop in the pocket and then throw it nearly intercepted. Jamari Connor almost ran away with a pick down the sideline. He doesn't throw a lot of them. He's only thrown one the entire year. So when you get an opportunity to come up with one, you got to make the most of it. He's in working in man-to-man -man coverage against Stovall and was stride for stride with him. The program has been built. He's got it. He's got it rolling right now. Pickett surveys, throws sideline, tipped away by Connor in front of Taysier Mack. And getting some help over there for Chapman. Because they're kind of taking turns right now. Mack, and, along with Wayne, working. 11 play drive, James. And the 10th rushing touchdown of the season for Schrader. So he and Tucker have 10. That one's blocked. Andre Schmidt had an extra point blocked. Virginia Tech picks up the football down the sideline. Dorian Strong. And Strong takes it all the way back. And that's a great thing to see for Boston College fans. Garwo again trying to sidestep, and he gets pushed down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Second down. Been out since the second game of the year against Massachusetts when he hurt himself as Garwo gets chopped down hard by Connor and Kark. Once again behind the chain, second and ten. Leonard will look to throw. Pocket collapsing. Gets it out here to Calhoun. Comes back to the ball, and that's going to limit his gain. It just, you know, you, a lot of times you're going to get a reception or a flag throw. You just have to hold him in order to cover him, not the ball. Leonard oh, pressure and gets boy. hit hard. Jamari Connor. Problem tackling on that play from that nickel position. Really good job of timing up the blitz. Van Dyke on second in the full ten. Wants to cut it loose and deflected and almost caught on the back end by Rambo. Ruled incomplete. It looked like Chamari Connor was getting ready to deliver an interception, and Rambo almost still made a great catch. It's the second time Virginia Tech's had an interception go through their hands this time. Go to NC State, based on first the division records, the records in division, that would eliminate Wake Forest from the race. It's very Joe Burrow-esque, and I know that's a lofty name to throw out, but Joe Burrow, not the strongest arm you've ever seen, but understands timing, angles, all the things that grow into being a great thrower of the football at every level the way that Brennan Armstrong's been. Where we saw the turnover, now a drive and a chance to get his team back on top. Against four-man pressure, Armstrong broken up. Jamari Connor, he's got four career picks, and boy did he come close. 
We talked about the discomfort for him in the pocket right now, Anish. The last drive ended on a throw that sailed on him a little bit. This time, the ball's behind Jelani Wood. 